Hey everybody, it's Adorkable Liz, and today I just thought I would do a kimono related video because I haven't done one in a really long time and I just want to. So, um, what I have here is a collection of kimono related books. Um, one's a manga, as you can see. It doesn't show you how to wear a kimono, but it it's just like based off the story of Oran. Am I saying that right? But it's the traditional, you know, Japanese prostitute that everybody would get confused with Mako and Geisha. So I picked that up yesterday and I've been on and off reading. I think there's only one, but if you like manga and you're obviously you're 18 and up and you kind of want to give this a read, the art is beautiful. I've been flipping through it. It has some images of color and like this blue and black ink wash dye and the main character is really feisty. I haven't finished it yet because I just got it yesterday. But uh, that's a manga. And it doesn't show you how to put on kimono or anything like that. But if you're interested in like traditional Japanese um, kind of stuff and just kind of like that whole like flower and willow world type scene. It says flower and willow world but technically they're not geisha or Mako, so I don't know if that really applies, but it is like the red light district of Japan. So if you're kind of interested in that, there's this. But um, if you're here strictly for um, the kimono books, then stay tuned. So the first one that I have is in English. Yay for English! Um, there's not really a lot of kimono-based books that are in English that I think are positive. Like, there's an older one that's in English, but I kind of feel like it's just like, has that Japanese people are superior and will always wear kimono better type of feel to it, and if you've read it, you probably know what I'm talking about and I think it's just called like the kimono book or whatever but it's an older book and I don't know it just made kimono seem like really intimidating to me at least but whatever so I really like this one because it has lots of different articles and shows you how to put on kimono and tips in English and it's just awesome. It just shows you like a kimono dance in like Osaka, like vintage patterns, yukata tips, like um, wool kimono, like different formalities, coordination. It follows like a, like a couple of women and you get to see like how they fell in love with kimono. It's pretty awesome. It's just... If you're looking for something that's like in English, that's good, a good book, this is the one. I really enjoy this one. And I got it from this bookstore, and it's only $25. So this is a good general like kimono book in English if you want one. And this one is my absolute favorite and I say this because it's by Clamp. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, it's by Clamp and it's so inexpensive. It's only $13. You could probably find it used and it's all in English. That is just the best fam thing ever. And it just has beautiful coordination 
tips, like art, manga inspired images, you know, anime, even has like a cute little comic book in the end. So if you want something that's kind of inspired because basically to me this shows like Kimono Hime style really well and it's in English and it's really like if you love anime and you love manga, if you love clamp and kimono, you're gonna be happy with this book. It's goodbye. Then this one is the first kimono book I've ever had and it's all in Japanese and I can't read Japanese but what's so awesome about it is it shows you how to put on different kimono which is great even for guys even though my boyfriend is like six foot ones and he's ridiculously tall and lanky <laughs> it's kind of hard to find kimono for him but if I did manage to find one for him I would be able to figure it out with this now um, the thing with this though is like it's all in Japanese so if you can't figure it out by the pictures you're, you're gonna miss some things and I've probably missed some things on how to because putting on kimono is all in the details and sometimes like I forget the details so I don't always have like super gorgeous looking kimono I don't it's like kits, kitsuku? Kitsuke? Probably saying it wrong, but it translates to the art of wearing kimono. If you wear kimono, and that's, that's what it's called. And these two last books, if you haven't guessed, are the mooks for Kimono Hime. And you guys know I love Kimono Hime, and I only have two books because they're kind of expensive especially if you order online I got this one online and I paid a lot I paid like three times the price so I paid I must say I paid like fifty dollars for this one but it's absolutely stunning Studying, it's just really, really, really pretty and gorgeous, and you just get all these ideas and inspiration. And here's all has like all of the volumes to date. This is the number ten, and I really, really, really love this one. So if you can't read Japanese, if you were to get this, it would just be like an inspirational book, like because you can't read the articles <laughs> and this is the, the the newest one I just bought this one yesterday in San Francisco and this one's more like catered towards yukata and it has like some ideas on how to wear your hair which I think is really cool like different ideas and like how to put on yukata and like how to tie obi and, like always has this really cute manga in there and coordination ideas and just like different accessories that you could wear with kimono and it has some like cut out paper things for like origami and this is the new up to date listing of all the kimono hime volumes and I got this for 20 bucks of course, at my favorite Japanese bookstore in San Francisco. So, um, I would have showed you guys the actual bookstore, but they have a strict no filming, no taking pictures policy in their store, so I couldn't do any filming or taking any pictures there. So yeah, so this is kind of like an overview. I'm not really going in depth into the books, but it's just like a general idea. And I, I just thought that for people who speak 
and read English or can read English and are looking for communal books, that I'd show them. I would show them these two options if they don't r already know about them, and kind of give you guys like a sneak peek of what's in the kimono hime and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not too in depth, but whatever. All right, have a great day. Bye.